Hi. <clears throat> okay, so I have here a flashlight. Uh, this is a Nightcore model LR30, which is quite ex expensive. It costs about uh, forty dollars, US dollars, and uh, this brand is very high quality manufacturer in China. So it didn't work. I couldn't believe that it stopped working. But eventually, after I open it, it started to work. So I don't know really what the problem is. But I have an issue that I will show now. If connecting a battery, it is starting to blink. This is uh, checking the battery voltage. And if powering it on, of course, here. I hope you can hear the sound. I hope you can hear the sound. It's a pretty strong sound from the DC to DC converter. I don't expect it to be so noisy. And I don't remember that it was noisy and I don't know if it is related to the problem. But eventually the only parts that can do such a noise is of course the coil the inductive coil of the DC to DC converter because each press uh, they are changing probably the PWM to the DC to DC converter so I have now an issue with the strong sound I hope you can hear it it's very, very annoying I have to admit, by the way, it can blink uh, light with red light. I like this uh, flashlight, it's very good. In order to open it, I had to use a very sharp knife. And gently I was moving around the connection between the white plastic and the blue plastic and I could, it is glued very well and I could open it without a, without a lot of damage so I will be able to glue it back but first I will order this coil because the noise is very annoying now and it is written 4R7 which is probably 4.7 micro Henry a coil. I don't know the current of the coil. I expect it to be, let's say, maybe around 1 amp or 2 amp. I can measure it by disconnecting and connecting a wire and measuring the actual RMS current that is moving through uh, the coil. Maybe I will do it and uh, we will know what kind of coil I need to order in order to fix it. I Hopefully the new coil will not have this noise. It shouldn't have such a strong noise. Again I will give you to hear the noise. Ha! This is very annoying. So, okay, so let's maybe try to measure the current through this coil in order to know what coil I need to order to this one. Okay, so I will do it in a few seconds. Okay, so I will use this current meter from UNI-T, which is UT200C. This is a very good whole effect current meter. By the way, in order to open it, uh, after I use the knife in order to cut between the white and the blue area there are four screws, very tiny screws that are covered with kind of I don't know what it is, maybe it is silicone or something I hope you can see these are the screws very tiny screws, I guess about one millimeter or something like this I'm talking about the diameter and now 
okay so let's measure the actual current so I will now use my DC to DC all effect by the way when using this one what you need to do is do a calibration which is pressing the relative so it will remove the effect of the magnetic fields area near okay so now I will okay so you can see the current is only quarter amp if I move in okay to highest mode okay so as I <laughs> exactly as I thought unbelievable the current, the maximum current of the coil is 1 amp so if you need to change this coil you need a coil for current of 1 amp exactly and you are all done uh, if I will find maybe I will pick from eBay something a little higher than 1 amp at the same size the size by the way is 7 millimeter by 7 millimeter and the height is 3 millimeters 3 millimeters measure it of course uh, with the uh, millimeter what is the name of this one I forgot okay so uh, that's all for now ah caliber caliber okay so that's all for now and Bye bye and I will update about changing the coil and the results of the sound, annoying sound. Thank you.